Good afternoon, good evening, brothers and sisters. Salam alaikum. Peace be with you. This evening, I want to relate some very dynamic information to you. And it may seem like the line from a movie where they said, You want to hear the truth? You can't handle the truth. Well, I'm hoping that everybody that's listening to this can handle the truth because the truth is outrageous. The name of this video is going to be part two to truth versus falsehood. Most of my videos are based upon my studies and my observations and my compiling of accurate information. It's not based upon me telling war stories or what I did in the past and, you know, where I was at, and et cetera, et cetera. I'm trying to give information that will help uplift the human beings, okay? I'm trying to give information that will help protect human beings and will give you an awareness that will guide you on a path that's straight in times of conflict, corruption, confusion, and ignorance. This evening, I want to relate some information that doesn't come from my imagination or from my theory, okay? But you need to use the analytical thinking that I had mentioned and presented to you before about using when you hear information, okay? Tonight, I want to give you some information, okay, that comes from a recent article from NBC News Update. And the article or the um, interview that was given is called, We Want to Infect Them. We want to infect them. And this allegedly was a comment of Donald Trump and his advisors. And this was reported by Chris Hines, okay? And it was uh, several emails that had revealed the truth of Trump's covert plan, okay? Um, and it was on NSNBC, and you can watch it on YouTube. It's not a long video, but it gets to the point. And basically, what it's saying um, is that Trump knew that there was ways and remedies to prevent and to cure this virus. As I mentioned before in one of my videos was that it was outrageous that England was one of the first countries to come out with a cure that they was able to inject the population with an anti-virus um, for this um, pandemic and infection. And England is so far behind America and technology, it's crazy. Then you had Australia which I had mentioned was a backward kangaroo country, they came out and was giving their people um, antivirus, curing them, okay? China then had it out. Russia then had it out. So why America, which is supposed to be the most powerful and the most dominant economic, political, and health uh, advanced country in the world, still hasn't produced an uh, antivirus that would help cure the people. Um, just last night, last night, 3,400 people were killed. Not sickened, but they contracted and they died. 3,400 people last night when they had the snowstorm, okay, they were killed within a 24-hour period 
because they was infected and they did not have a serum or a cure for them. Okay, and out of that, separately, there was 300,000 that was infected that didn't die. Okay, 3,400 that died, 300,000 that contracted it and may die. Okay, so what is this about? All right, um, it's really um, outrageous. This is what was stated. Trump said that we need young people to contract the virus. We need them to get this virus, even though that they are more than likely to overcome it with time, that they'll be cured from it, and then they'll go back and party and keep doing what they're doing. But the method of that was that they would spread it to older people, elderly people, sick people, people who had low resistance, and that it would knock down the population, especially the population that he thought was anti-Trump. Okay, this was the methodology, this was the plan. Okay, he put certain people in position that had no accurate knowledge or background about curing this disease, such as um, people like, well, I'm not going to go all into the names, but he put a lot of people in position and power that had no business having those titles or being in position because they could do nothing to benefit, okay? And um, he did not want to suppress this. This was his concept to let it run rampant. Now, I'm going to give you this information. It's H-T-T-P-S double dot double slash U-T-U dot B-E. Okay? And that's C-C-J-R-J-7-U. One one three four. You go on there and you'll be able to listen to the NBC News reporter and other people who have proof of this information and have broadcasted it. I will also um, put a copy of the video on my site as well as on um, Facebook. I don't know how long they're going to leave it on there because it's a lot of incriminating um, information. But the bottom line is that um, they wanted to kill a certain population in American society. All right. And it all boils down to what I said before, that there's two types of people. There's human beings, regardless of the color. It's not about black, white, brown, red, yellow. It's a, either you're a human being or you're a beast, okay? And human beings come in all colors, white, brown, red, yellow, black, whatever you want to call the shades in between. And you have beasts that are not just white, but they're black beasts, brown beasts, yellow beasts, people who have evil intent, people who have no regard for the life of human beings, people who will do anything for money. Now, you have a lot of people that have beastly ways, okay? And you can see a lot of that even on this show called American Greed. A lot of people that are listening to this that are ex-so-called gangsters and, and thugs and whatever, you know, they American greedy or were American greedy. And at the time, they was beasts because they do anything for the money. They kill you, your mama, your sister, your brother, anybody, okay? So you think if they won't, that they would do it, that the people that have more to risk, people on a higher level, wouldn't do it, wouldn't put out a plan to kill thousands of people for billions and billions of dollars. But then again, it's not just about the money, as a lot of us know, it's about the power. Because there was rich people even on the street that didn't have to keep on selling drugs, didn't have to keep on sticking up, didn't have to keep being hitmen. Okay, they had enough money. But the thing about them, American greed. They were greedy and they wanted the power. 
They wanted the name. They wanted the reputation. So they went totally against everything that their heart had implanted within their consciousness when they were human beings, whether it was as a child or growing up, to know right from wrong, to know that you don't kill people for any reason whatsoever, especially for a penny, a dollar, a nickel, a quarter, or whatever amount. That's American greed. And when a person gets caught up in American greed, American power corruption, that's when they become a beast. Or as we say in Islam, they become a shaitan, a devil, one that would do anything to anybody to stay in position of authority, of power, okay? And most of it is ego-related, and it's because inwardly they know without that, they're nothing. They're nobody, okay? And that's the only thing that makes them feel important or makes them feel like they have a life, okay? But life is about family. Life is about taking care of yourself in a correct manner. It's about taking care of your parents, taking care of your children. It's about helping humanity, helping your fellow brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's not about like being a crab in a barrel. You ever see a barrel of crabs? Okay, they push one up to the top, and the minute one crab is ready to fall over that 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 barrel, the two or three of them will grab him by the leg, grab him by his 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 little uh, uh, arm, and pull him back down to the bottom. Okay, and they say that that's how a lot of people are in this society, from the street level of petty criminals to so-called. Uh, <laughs> top level gangsters all the way up to the White House and that's what has manifested itself but on this level it has caused the effect of millions of people to die so don't take my word for it as I said this is truth versus falsehood part two okay as my mother told me when I was a child tell the truth and shame the devil tell the truth and shame the devil. Tell the truth and shame the devil. And for more information, go on YouTube. You can go to my site, Seafood True Master, okay, on YouTube. And I will post that video. Like I said, I don't know how long it's going to last. I already put a post up on Facebook. And you listen to the men of knowledge and the men of the news media who have risked their reputation, their jobs, their lives to put this information out there and to let you know what's really going on and how people that you think are trying to help you are really trying to kill you and keep you sick, okay, for a lot of political and economical reasons, all right? You know, you have to really have analytical thinking to understand what's going on in this world. And if you don't understand it, you're going to be a casualty and a victim. It's like going to war and everybody got machine guns, M16s, and, and heavy artillery, and you out there with a BB gun. Or better and worse, you out there with a slingshot. Or even worse than that, you got a rock or nothing at all. So with that, I'm going to bring this to a close. I wish the best for the human beings. And as for the beasts, you know what awaits you. Nothing but the fire. Okay? And wallahi, that is not my word, but that is the word of Allah. Okay? Shaitan, a'udhu billahi mina shaitani rajim. May Allah, God, protect us from the devil from his tribe, his siblings, and his forces, and guard us against evil, and keep us on a path of righteousness, keep us on a path of goodness, and protect us and our loved ones. Amen.